Hey, welcome back to No One Survived. In this season, we play with hardcore difficulty settings as shown here, including permadeath, which means I lose all skills and any tech I learned since my last death. Three times the amount of zombies spawn and zombie strength is set to max. Virus death rate set higher than hardcore, so I can die easier from viral infection when my antibody stat reaches zero. Loot distribution is set to rare, so very few containers have loot in them. Not only that, but the amount of loot in the containers is minimal. The loot respawn interval is set to zero, so absolutely no respawn. What I find is what I get. So I've been thinking about it and I, uh, now I want to go to the police station and also this trader here, this trader has tailoring, but before I go there, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the police station just in case I get tailoring books. That'll save me some space in my packs for tradables. So I'm going to leave all my tradables here. And uh, I've done this police station before like eons ago and, and I filled up my packs pretty quick. I know my loot settings are pretty low. I mean, uh, like very little loot. So I'm not sure exactly how it's going to turn out, but I don't want to... I don't want to run out of room, really. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put some tradables back, and that way I know I've got enough pack space. Okay, so there's just a little bit left there for tradables. I just don't think I'm going to have the room to go from the uh, police station to the industrial site to the to the trainer. I have a feeling the uh, I'm going to run out of room. And then I'll be forced to come back anyway, I think. I'm going to make sure these guys are fully running. I'm going to keep that iron on me just in case. Because there's some wolves up there too. I might have to kill some wolves for some fur. And I'd like to dry the meat. Make some jerky. Uh, it looks pretty pretty good there. I think I just got the one pack left to kind of go through. There's a bunch of vehicles up there too I want to hit. So uh, I may run out of room. I may, I may not. Who knows? We'll, we will go to the tailoring trainer, but we're not going to do it first. I want to make sure that I've, uh, I'm not wasting a bunch of tradables at the trainer or time if I can get some tailoring books. Yeah, I think I'm ready to go. We've got... Oh, I better check the... This guy here, that's yeah, pretty close to full. There we go. I uh, do remember the police station having a lot of clothing. It's sort of like the military base, so I'm going to be going through knives, I think, breaking stuff down. Better bring that extra with me, that spare. And I also want to bring some planks, believe it or not. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Just make sure that gun oil is in my car and not in my backpack because I'll end up using it accidentally. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. And I want to get the police station done before summer, which is in less than two days. 
everything should be going. I think we're okay to leave. And I'm pretty sure I haven't checked these vehicles yet. There's one alarm. Go, go, go. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, I think something broke. Dang it. Holy cow, that sucked. Yeah, something, uh, I heard something break. I'm not sure what I lost. I've got all my clothing. Uh, something broke. I wonder. Maybe they just hit my car. Could be. I'm down to 59. I think that's what it was. That sucked. I should have been a little more careful. Those would have been the uh, car alarm zombies for sure. I better get that pack into my car in case I gotta go. I didn't get a bleed or an infection, and my health still looks pretty good. Oh, there we go. A little bit of fuel. One liter. All right, we're out of here. I did hear something break, though. I'll have to see. Uh, when I edit the video, I'll, I'll have a look, see if anything. I'm missing something here. And the wolves should be just on the other side of this barrier. Oh yeah, there they are. It's gonna go off into the woods a little bit here. Try not to attract too much attention and that parking lot is up here somewhere that I wanna hit. Just double check my bags. Yeah, there it is. Get some logs for some traps. May as well get a couple hours. A workman right there. And another workman down there. Try to clear out as many zombies as I, as I see, because if I... Oh, there's two there. If I set off an alarm, I will... Uh, they'll be attracted by it, right? And then I'll be dealing with, like, many zombies. I got enough for one more trap. Ah, refrigerator. Worst blueprint ever. Mm -hmm. 
battery, that's not a bad thing. There they are. I think those guys just came from the buildings. I don't think they're car alarm zombies. I don't see car alarm zombies. Oh no. I don't know how he saw me. Like, I'm not sure if he saw that, but that one zombie saw me from that distance and set that alarm off. It's less to worry about, I guess. Five zombies, man. Oh, and there's two more. And then I see another one in the distance coming. Like, what the heck? I almost want to go into that apartment building after that. It's like I cleared out a whole bunch here. There's a few more down there. Like, seriously, I almost want to go in here now. I don't think any of those guys were a uh, car alarm. I'm pretty sure they all came from this high-rise area. And I think there's an electronics store there. That would be great for components. Man. I got to get rolling, though, because summer's right around the corner. And I got all this gear on. I'm going to overheat if I take too long. Yeah, that was... Uh, I wonder if it's worth it going there. Jeez, like... I've just set off more alarms than... In the last five minutes here, ten minutes, than I have in, like... A whole play session... Super paranoid. I'm not sure which vehicle that was. I'll take that fuel. Oh, look at that. Well, I could... Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll run this back. Just to the trap area. And uh, that way I know it's pretty much secure. I can come back for it. In case something bad happens here. That's a military backpack. It's one of the better ones because it's it's skinnier, I guess. Like it doesn't take as much room in the uh, in your trunk. I don't really have room for it. I'll have to hold the bag out the window, but when I'm driving, but that's okay. I didn't bother checking the interactive map to see if there's any uh, big fellows or crawlers, like big bad zombies down in this area. So if I do go try to get into that electronic store, I could be asking for a lot of trouble. Could be the last one here. Uh, pistol. So yeah, that's it. That's all these vehicles. I got a refrigerator blueprint and a military backpack and a battery, I think. Pretty much, uh, oh, and a little bit of fuel, but I think I got some fuel. So that wasn't terrible. That pack is worth it, I think, alone. Uh, do I want to leave or do I want to check that area out? I don't have a lot of arrows. If I'm going to go in there, I probably should bring my SMG. Let's go test the waters. 
I don't know if the buildings are alarmed too, because if they're alarmed, I'm I'm gonna be in some trouble for sure. I've never ever 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 been in these uh stores. Oh, it's it's clothing. I thought it was electronics. I could find a good pair of runners in there. Lots of zombies across the street. What is this? That looks like uh, electronics. I hear a zombie around me somewhere. Down there. And there's no searchables. That is, oh, something on the other side. Must be the building. That sucks. I was really hoping for uh, some electronics. There's another electronics store there. I'll just do a quick search in here. Uh, starting to get a little freaky. Uh, Lockpick. Terrible. This is such a bad idea. Oh, God, that guy freaked me out. Oh, yeah, here we go. Dang it. My fault. I don't know if I have enough arrows. There's still two more coming. I got a couple of arrows left. Man, this police gear, I tell you, it's saving me. Four arrows. Batteries, batteries, I need components. That's what I really need. There's one. Toolbox. Running low on those, so that's not a bad thing. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in here. The zombies all around and I got four arrows left. Like that's just uh, not a good scene. Come on. Not seeing anything on the ground. Yeah, I think that's it. That was a bit of a bust. I got one component. Not the shoes I want. Oh no, those are the shoes I want. Where'd they go? They just disappeared. Dang it. Oh, there they are. There we go. Uh, plus 20 speed for the old ones and plus 25 for the new ones. A little flashy, but at least uh, the speed's higher. These are all really good for trade, too. And another pair. So that's perfect. That was worth it. And a third pair. Awesome. I think I can make some fast shoes in, on the sewing table. I'm not 100% sure. But, man. I got all these tradables now. Not sure how I'm going to make this work. And they disappeared. So, like, clothing is... 100% positive that there's a chance that, and it's only clothing that I've run into this issue. You drop it on the ground, there's a chance you're going to lose it forever. Like it's gone. 
and that's how I've lost my pants. How many pairs of pants have I lost just by putting them on the ground? I've, I think I even lost a jacket that way, too. So, what do we have? We've got, like, rotting food making your bags disappear and items disappear. Oh, look at that. More components. And uh, clothing. Clothing, if you drop it on the ground, there's a chance you're never going to see it again. I know that for a fact because uh, it's happened to me often enough. Another pair of shoes. I just really honestly want to... Uh, want them for trade i should just i know if i run back to my car the zombies are going to respawn or not respawn but kind of redistribute and uh i might come back here and have to go through all that again i don't want to but i'm out of room and i i really as much as those toolboxes take up the uh the space i really really need the toolboxes maybe i can get rid of some rocks I really want to take as much as I can for um, the tailoring tr uh, trainer. Like, all those shoes will probably get me a level or two in training. And here, I didn't want to fill my packs up for the trainer. I got a t-shirt I can break down, but that's fine. I don't really need the fabric. Uh, I think we're going to call it... Yeah, I lost that pair of shoes. Or whatever it was I dropped there. I think it was shoes. But clothing... Drop it on the ground and there's a chance you're going to lose it. I think we're done here. Pretty flashy looking shoes. That's awesome though. I got lots of tradables. I just uh, I just took up a lot of bag space that I didn't really have. I could always build a bench here. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. is I'll build a bench here because I've got these toolboxes. And grab the toolbox on the way back home. But I'll store all this stuff and uh, pick it up on the way home. That way I can make room for a uh, for this military pack in my uh, in my trunk. <laughs> this has been a pretty good outing so far. I might even just keep all these shoes here and just grab them the next time I feel like going to that trainer. Kinda not on the way though. The merchants in C7 or B2. I don't know. I'll figure it out. What do I need here? Five rocks. Didn't I just get rid of a bunch? Let's just get one of these smaller packs emptied out. Go ahead and eat that. I can use it now. Oh, look at my antibodies. I didn't even realize it was down. 49, that's not good. Yeah, so we'll leave this pack here. I don't have room in here, but hopefully it doesn't disappear. And we'll take this one with us. And maybe we'll leave this pick here and get that rifle ready to go, or the SMG. Yeah, okay, so I've got a ton of stuff to pick up here. That was a good little haul. I only did go into a couple places there. I wonder if I should go into the buildings. I've never been in there. My biggest fear is that they're not complete and I'll end up going in there and wasting a lot of ammo and, and that sort of thing. And there's a police station there. I think I see some mushrooms. Oh yeah, I see three up there. Probably use them right away here. I'm going to make a bed and mark it. There's some more down here. There's another three down here. Holy cow. The two I, or the three I have now should be enough to uh, fill me up for the police station. I know this is one of the easier, I think it's the easier police station, so I'm not too worried about 
failing here, but who knows? I mean, there is an alarm in the building or two. I'm not sure how close I want to get with my car. I'm just going to pull right up there. And if a bunch of zombies come out, that's fine. At least I can take care of them right away. But there is a wall there too, right? I don't hear anything. I'm going to make this a little easier for running in and out instead of running around. I don't want to pull my car up to the front of it because, whoops, there's going to be a lot of uh, zombies around there and I, I don't want to uh, attract any more than I have to. And it doesn't look like my car attracted any, which is a good thing. Set my respawn, and I should probably get a couple hours just so I've got full energy. I don't know what kind of food, if any, is in the police station. Oh, didn't give me a lot. And we're on day nine, so summer's like right around the corner. should fill me up pretty good my hygiene's already going down like i just cleaned up right before we left and it's already down to 15 i think that's because i i don't know i got all this clothing on i've killed zombies i'm a mess and we need some some rocks i think for this probably bring that sledgehammer with me in case there's any doors i gotta unlock i'd rather break them down than waste my lock picks Definitely need some more arrows. I thought I had some stone on me, but I, I guess not. I don't have a pick. There we go, a little bit of storage. Oh, that got bright. Finish this off. I need 15 planks and two sticks, and I've got that, so I can build another one on the other side. Okay, here we go. Whoa, hello. I didn't, uh, I didn't grab any logs for traps. That's not a good thing. These trees will give me, I think, a total of two logs. I don't have any traps. This could be bad. I'm gonna grab a couple logs and, uh, oh. I hear something there. I'm gonna grab a couple logs just for a couple of traps and also an empty pack and that way I don't I shouldn't have to run all the way back to my car right off the bat I hear him but I don't see him must be on the inside like it sounds like they're coming from this corner oh look at that I got a beehive Holy cow. Let's just put that away right away here because it uh, takes up a lot of room. No, they're going to destroy my thing. Well, I guess that's less to deal with in the uh, in the building here, which is a good thing.
little tense. I hear it, but I'm thinking it's upstairs. I'm not going to go through any of the rooms yet. I want to make sure I clear the building first. I don't want to set off any alarms and end up with a bunch of zombies to deal with more than I have to. I don't really hear anymore, so I might be there already. I do hear one, and it sounds pretty far away. I'm not sure if it's outside or inside. Must be outside. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's get orientated here a little bit. We'll start with uh, start in this corner here. I do hear one. I don't know where he is. Oh yeah, a steel pickaxe and a steel knife. Steel crowbar too. Where the heck are you? Maybe he's outside. Another steel pickaxe. Oh man. Like seeing that. Tons of steel here. Holy cow. Nice. Man, I need so much rock for my uh, project at home. I'm going to use those up. I'm not going to break them down. Another machete. Yeah, tons of steel. This is a really good room. I'm going to just step out here and start breaking this stuff down. I'll hang on to that knife, though, because I have a feeling I'm going to burn this one up pretty quick here. We'll swap those out. That zombie's really close to me. I don't know exactly where he's at. Hey, that's the first room. We got six steel bars and three steel pickaxes and a new crowbar. I think this is the alarmed room. Maybe, maybe not. No, it's this one here. wonder if I should just get this out of the way right now. Super paranoid. Um, I don't have a ton of room on me. If this place is full of books, I'm going to run out of room. I do have that pack outside. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there it is. Let's see how bad this, this gets. That'll be it for this video, and you know what to do to show your support. Appreciate all the comments. Thanks for watching.